Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we talked about Auto Discover. We discussed what is Auto Discover, which services are dependent on Auto Discover service, and how Auto Discover process works in internal and external network. In this particular video, we will be talking about Outlook Anywhere and Mappy over HTTP. We will discuss how these two protocols work, what is the difference between these two protocols, and how to configure and test Outlook Anywhere and Mappy over HTTP in Exchange Server 2019. When a user wants to access company resources from outside the network or from internet, generally they have to use a VPN. Virtual private network or VPN allows a connection to the organization network and inside its firewall, so that users can access the company resources from the external network. Outlook Anywhere or RPC over HTTP allows users to connect to their mailboxes using Outlook client from an external network without using a VPN. That means if Outlook Anywhere is configured in your exchange organization, users can connect to their mailboxes using Outlook client from external network and they do not need a VPN. This is possible because Outlook client can use RPC over HTTP to connect to the exchange services. Outlook Anywhere is a facility that is provided by Microsoft Outlook for remote connections. It acts like an alternative to VPN connections that allows users to access Outlook client without any restrictions. RPC over HTTP is a Windows component. It wraps remote procedure calls or RPCs with an HTTP layer so that it can travel through the network firewalls without requiring RPC ports to be opened in your network. So if you are using RPC over HTTP, you do not have to open any extra ports on your network. Outlook Anywhere also use MAPI protocol. When Outlook client connects to Exchange Mailbox using Outlook Anywhere, the MAPI protocol is wrapped with RPC, and then it is wrapped with HTTP. In RPC over HTTP, all the RPC calls are encapsulated within HTTP and are transported over an SSL connection but it requires two long-lived TCP connections, one connection for Outlook and Exchange Server, and one for Exchange Server and Outlook connection. In Exchange Server 2013, 2016, and 2019, Outlook Anywhere is enabled by default, but still you need to make certain changes in Exchange Server so that Outlook clients can use Outlook Anywhere to connect to the Exchange mailboxes. If you want to configure Outlook Anywhere from Exchange Admin Center, you can go to Servers, then double click on your mailbox server, and then go to Outlook Anywhere. Under external host name and internal host name, you need to mention the host name for your Exchange server. I have already changed this to mail.office365concepts.com. Under authentication method, you can select if you want Outlook clients to be authenticated using basic authentication, NTLM authentication, or negotiate. And if you want to verify all these changes from Exchange Management Shell, you can run get hyphen Outlook Anywhere, pipe FL, and press Enter. This command will list all the properties of Outlook Anywhere Virtual Directory. Now, if you want to make same changes that we just checked here. If you want to make all these changes from PowerShell, you can run set hyphen Outlook Anywhere hyphen identity. Identity will be the name of Outlook Anywhere site. After that, we will mention external host name. That will be in my case, it will be mail.office365concepts.com. Mail.office365concepts.com. Then we will mention internal host name. This will be same. After that, we will use 
hyphen external clients require SSL dollar true hyphen internal clients require SSL dollar true and then we will mention the default authentication method. For example, negotiate. So you can run this command and this will configure the same settings in Outlook Anywhere virtual directory. If you want to verify if Outlook Anywhere is configured properly in your exchange server, you can run test hyphen Outlook connectivity hyphen probe identity outlook dot protocol outlook rpc self test probe press enter so outlook connectivity test says succeeded so that means outlook anywhere is configured properly in this exchange server Mappy over HTTP is a transport protocol that replaces Outlook Anywhere. It was introduced in Exchange Server 2013 SP1. In Exchange Server 2016 and 2019, Mappy over HTTP is enabled by default on the organization level. In Mappy over HTTP, Mappy is wrapped with only HTTP protocol. And instead of two long-term connections, it uses one long term connection and one short term connection, which results in faster communication when you are connecting to your exchange mailboxes. By default, Outlook 2016, 2019, or Outlook 365 uses Mappy over HTTP. But if Mappy over HTTP is not enabled in your exchange server, Outlook clients can still use RPC over HTTP to connect to the exchange mailboxes. If you haven't configured Mappy Virtual Directory, you can go to Servers, then go to Virtual Directories, and then open Mappy Virtual Directory. Under Internal URL and External URL, you can mention the URL that will be used by the client applications to connect with your Exchange Server. Under Authentication, you can set the authentication method that will be used to authenticate the Outlook clients. You can set it to NTLM, Kerberos, Negotiate, basic authentication or OAuth authentication. Kerberos authentication is not enabled by default in Exchange Server. So in one of the next videos, we will discuss how you can enable Kerberos authentication for Exchange Server. In Exchange Server 2019, Mappy over HTTP is enabled by default on organization level. You can go to Exchange Management Shell, And here you can run get hyphen organization config pipe FL and then look for Mappy HTTP enabled. So it says true. That means Mappy over HTTP is enabled on organization level. Now let's go to Outlook client and let's try to configure a profile for one of the on premise users. So the mailbox is configured. Now let's try to open Outlook. Let's go to connection status. Under connection status, under server name, we can see mail.office365concepts.com slash mappy. So that means as of now, Outlook client is connected to Exchange Server using Mappy over HTTP protocol. And if you want to check more properties, you can check the protocol, you can check the authentication method. Encryption method is SSL. Now let's go back to Exchange Server and let's disable Mappy HTTP. 
for this we will run set hyphen organization config mappy http enabled dollar false press enter so this command will disable mappy over http on the organization level let's verify the changes it says false you can even disable or enable mappy over http on the basis of mailboxes for example let's say we have a couple of users for example bob ross As of now, Mappy HTTP enabled shows null. Mappy HTTP enabled has three values. First is null. Null means it will by default consider the value that is defined on the organization level. If Mappy over HTTP is enabled on the organization level, in that case, the same value will be replicated on the mailbox level. If this value says false, that means mappy over http is disabled for this particular mailbox and if this value says true in that case mappy over http is enabled on this particular mailbox so as of now we have disabled mappy over http on the org level so it will inherit the same value on the mailbox as well now let's go back to outlook client let me close outlook Let's go back to control panel. And let me remove this profile. I'll create another profile. So the profile is configured and let's open Outlook. So let's go to connection status. So under proxy server, we can see mail.office365concepts.com, which is the URL for our exchange server. And under protocol, we can see RPC over HTTP. So we have disabled Mappy over HTTP in organization level. And that is the reason now Outlook is connecting through RPC over HTTP. In the next video, we will be discussing IMAP and POP protocols. We will discuss how you can configure these two protocols in Exchange Server 2019 and how we can use these protocols to send and receive emails in Exchange Server. So that is all for now. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.